There is new scrutiny on TikTok. The Justice Department has filed a new lawsuit yesterday accusing the popular social media app and its parent company, ByteDance, of unlawfully collecting personal data from its underage users. It is the latest legal battle for the platform, which could soon be banned in this country. I want to speak now to Jamil Jaffer for more legal perspective on this. He's former senior counsel to the House Intelligence Committee and former counsel to the Assistant Attorney General for National Security. So, Jamil, a lot of folks ask me why all this focus on TikTok. And, and, and the fact is it's a number of things, right? Because, I mean, a lot of apps collect personal data, but under Chinese law, they have to share this with the Chinese government. That's exactly right. 170 million American users on this platform. The Chinese government collects a ton of data, the, or ByteDance, TikTok does. Mm -hmm. They also can push information to those users. Yes. And we see the Chinese government doing it from both directions, taking the data off the platform mm -hmm. and pushing its own messages to American users. That's the thing. It's, it's, a, it's a mis- and disinformation channel right. uh, for tens of millions of American users in the midst of a presidential campaign, quite a con consequential one. Right, and you know, all these young people that use TikTok, they, it's their primary news platform. For people under the age of 30, it's the place they get news, and that's a real challenge. So, bans are on the table. Could that actually work? I mean, these are 170 million Americans. I mean, people, could they VPN their way around? I mean, pe people find a way to get technology when they want technology. Might do, but you know, the, the main mechanism, the way that people get TikTok is they download on the app stores. And so right. if the app stores don't have it, that'll make it a lot harder to get to. And look, the, what the Justice Department and what, what Congress has done here, they haven't banned TikTok. They've said, if you want to keep using it in the U.S. and collecting all this data on 170 million Americans, you got to divest. Right. We do this all the time in a million other contexts. You can't buy a television broadcasting station, a radio right. broadcasting yeah, station, makes if you're a foreign government. Yeah, I mean, it's basically, think of it that way. If you had a television show today that reached 170 million people, right, and that was owned and run by the, the Chinese government, folks might say, well, let, let's think about that. Exactly right. So does the does that work then as a way that this this transfer of ownership and where does that stand well so right now it's being it's there's a lawsuit going on in the dc circuit mm -hmm. right TikTok has sued um and said we don't want the law to go into effect a variety of parties the u.s government's opposing that yeah. we i filed a brief yesterday with a group of 18 other national security officials including two former u.s attorney generals uh, the former national cyber director arguing there are national security risks in play here that the court should take into account and allow the statute to go forward and make TikTok put to the choice, right? Either divest or be shut down. Right. So I, I was told years ago by contacts of mine in, in the intelligence world not to use TikTok and not to have your family use it. And that's one sort of rule, you know, social media rule. Right. I've one on at home. For folks watching right now, uh, as we wait for the legal uh, process to play out, would you recommend to them that they stop using TikTok? I would, and let me tell you why. It's not just the dance videos on TikTok, right? It's all the people you share that with. It's all the information that you put out on that platform. It's the fact that TikTok, even if you shut off its voice collection, will continue to collect that data mm. on, your, on your phone while it's off. And then when you combine all that data with the other data the Chinese government has stolen, Anthem hack, Marriott hack, yeah, OPM yeah. hack against you know, all these people who have TS, SCI security clearances, right? All that data together, powered by an AI machine, the Chinese government knows a lot about you and me, and they can use it to target us, our friends, and our family. Supercharged by AI, and I was a victim of all of those hacks that you talked about here. You remember that. Listening device in your pocket, folks. Keep it in mind. Jamil Jaffer, thanks so much.